Parents will say, I don't think there's anything wrong with my child. He can sit and watch cartoons for hours. If he were hyperactive, mm -hmm. then he would be up running around and, and couldn't sit still. As someone said, it is paying attention or having to pay attention during an effortful task that makes things different. Mainly what happens is I'll, I'll give them something to do or I'll tell them to stop something and they'll say, yes, Father, and not even turning around, they're starting it all over again. They've already forgotten or they can't help themselves or something. It just keeps, keeps happening. Unless it's something that he has chosen, uh, he has to be re reminded repeatedly, get back to it. Mm -hmm. um, if it's something, for instance, clean your room, he'll do anything. He'll wash the car, he'll dig ditches, he'll, he'll weed, anything but wanting to clean his room. Mike, just a couple minutes and I want you to start doing your chores. Okay? Yeah. Just, just finish that one game when and then Michael I want you to start doing it, your chores. Then can I do my... No. No. Hey, Matt, can... I got up to the top. Mike, or Matthew, Look. you can start See? first That's after good. the chores are finished. Yeah. Oh, shoot, 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 the game restarted, Dad. All right, just turn it off. No! Just turn it off. No! Yes. How come? Because the game was over. I, no, I it wasn't. Just, I stop. just won. Stop, stop. Come here, come here, come here. First thing I want you to do is I want you to start working on your room. Okay. Dad. My, Michael, that's first. Matthew, I want you to do Stupid. your bathroom today. Okay, Aww. get the things ready for it, please. Go. Get back here, you stupid trash can. Garfield, get up on the bed. and you clean it up. You don't fool around. Understand? Yes, Daddy, I understand. Let's go. Come on, right now. And don't come out again, or it's time out. Dion! Come on. Shut up, Katie. Shut up, Katie. My room's a big mess, but it's nothing for you to be proud of. Dad, I want to do my room. Can I do this bathroom? No. I want to do that bathroom this week. Okay, right now I want you to do your room. Can I do this bathroom? Michael, right now, no, your brother's doing it. Right now I want you to no do your room. No fear! I want to go, do that go ahead, bathroom. Go to the bathroom and I'll be right back. I'll get you. Okay, let's play solitaire! From the very beginning, uh, of Michael's interaction with people, uh, preschool on up. I've gotten the message from everyone that it's my fault or if I was a better mother, things would be different. Uh, it started in preschool with the way he would interact with the children and the teachers. He ended up kicking a teacher one time because she had put him in the front of the line where he wanted to be and then she turned the line around and now he was at the very end and so he just walked up and kicked her in the shins and got in the front of the line again. Every time I approach a teacher, I start off each year going up to the teacher and saying Michael or Matthew has attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Do you know what that is? I started off very innocently saying, do you know what that is? And every teacher I met said, yes, I know. I know all about it. And then would proceed to do all the wrong things during the year, put him near the back door by himself, um, give him several spoken commands, uh, get out your math book, 
turn to page 54, do problems 7 through 10, turn the page over, and a child with ADHD can't follow all of those instructions. Um, and things would just go from bad to worse, and they would wonder why. I had to really want to do something to be able to do it. I mean, I just, I have to really want to do it. Tell me the difference between when you're gardening and doing other things. It's something I want to do, and, and there's no time limit on it. And the real problem is that my parents give me a lot of time limits, and that's really hard. And they know I don't like it. And, and I mean, with my gardening, I can jump around and do whatever I want. And no one can tell me what I can do and what I can't do, because I'm the expert on gardening here. So it's important for you to be in charge? Yeah, on some things. Well, how does that work out if you want to do something with other kids? I don't have a lot of friends. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. I just don't make friends easily. It's real tough for me to make friends and to keep them. What happens? No. Uh, they, the kids in my school, like, they can tell that I'm different from everyone else and that I'm always misbehaving in class and I can't sit still and everything and, like, no one likes me for that. Mm. How does that make you feel? Well, I've gotten used to it. Really? I'd like to have more friends, but 